15 minutes. So for some reason. Okay. Instead of the usual 20 minutes, it's got 15 minutes. But still, oh. I'm sure we'll take it apart in 15 minutes, won't we? Right. Okay, so first of all, it's a shame we've got the washing up here, but there it is. First of all, um, you have to take these off. Yeah. So remove the shelves and stack them somewhere out of the way, as you do. So one, two, three shelves. And then we take off one, two, Four. They must go back in different ones if you can keep them there. five in the same order, in the same places, it must be the best. Six. That's a bit awkward. Seven. Excuse my handwriting on that one. Number eight. Okie dokie, so there's eight stones in no particular order. I'll find you a small cardboard box, but there's, there's eight of those. And then the first that you take off of this is this ridge. If you can reach top ridge, top ridge off, and then either one of either one of these two ends can come off next. Um, they just uh, lift up like that. So they're next. And of course, when you're putting it together, it'll be in reverse order to what this video is. Yeah. It comes off as easy peasy like that. <laughs> I'll make it look easy. Okay, and then you've got these two side top pieces. They're quite easy to come off. Oh. And you're going to remind me now that I need to get a hammer or something for something like that. Oh, yeah, come back down with it. So these all want to be only two inches. So I'll just. I'll do that later. Yeah. I'll do that in yeah. a minute. So we must remember to just knock those down all to two inches. Mm -hmm. I'll pop those one side there and these two and these three two side pieces and the top ridge. Okay that's looking pretty good so far. Um, we can now hopefully lift it up and use this spanner because if we lift it up we can see that's happening much easier you see, like this mm. will it stay there? not quite so really what it wants to be what we need to do is to just put it back a minute and if I get a small um, brick. A brick or a can or um, Trusty Tesco toilet tissues. Yeah. Put them over here. Might have been tall, might they, that one? <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so when you've got it like that, there's only these two bolts that we haven't used, and they they go through here. Just to bolt this together here. Yeah. As you can see, you didn't really need it, no. but you do. You do really need it no. because it'll, it it won't cut fall this way, but it can still go that way. So those bolts do need to go in. There's there's one that goes in here mm -hmm. and one that goes in there. And that's 
that way like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that these this bit on the inside, then it won't foul with the wheel. Yeah. Not, not that it must be wood anyway, but there we go. So pop those in there. Yeah. These two legs. Just a matter of unscrewing these. Yeah. And this will all be on the video anyway, yeah. so that would be good. <laughs> and again, I'll mark this, this leg to this one right. with, a, with some markings there, okay? Because that won't be exactly mm -hmm. the same as that one. Right. So they do, do need to be put into the same spot. Yeah. You can see the mark corresponds there, okay? Yeah. Um, well, I could put that in there, or I could. I think to store it for stowing, it's much better to put it in the cardboard box, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you could, you know, put it back through that hole, but it's just be best to have a box to put the bits and pieces of that in. Because they'll stack better then, won't they? Yeah. The same with this one. So that one goes and it's got mar a marking again. <coughs> so then with it like that, it makes it so much easier to uh, undo these. Yeah. You see, you could have, you could have wing nuts on here. Largest wings on them, then it'd be tight enough, I should think. So, if you ever do pop to BQ and you don't yeah. want to carry a span around with you, yeah, we're not. Okay. Is there somebody usually with you, or do you go out no, on your own? Mind. Yeah. I mean, I th I'm not sure, but I think um, one of the girls will be with me at um, the show rules. Okay. But, but there's never a guarantee no, no. that there's going to be somebody there. This is why it needs to be collapsible. Now, the only thing, the only thing is these, though, in all honesty, I don't think you're going to wing up on these. Because no. they're a bit close to the top of the board, so you'll have to carry a spanner with you anyway. No problem there, is it? No, no. Not when you can lift it up like that. Of course, when you're taking this off now, you've got to be careful it doesn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit sharp, that edge. I've cut my finger on it earlier, so I'll just mm -hmm. take that off. Yeah, those two washers, look, they'll cut them so that they fit. Oh, right. Otherwise they wouldn't have fitted because mm -hmm. it's so close to the top of the stand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just when you take this last nut off, I guess, it, it could basically fall over. I don't know if it will. Not particularly, no. Anyway. There it comes off. There it comes out. And then that's one piece like that, okay. So, did you do Meccano when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> now this, I think, I think this, you can now put this um, upside down very easy dismantling and um, you know, you'll need a pair of pliers or something just because this is a little bit of a, it's not that tight but it just comes out like that mm -hmm. and then this um, should just come off you see yeah. that just slots on and then that just holds it in place mm -hmm. okay hopefully the kids won't pull that out um, and then the same on this one this just pulls out, and that one drops off better. So those 
just hold this all in place. So it's the simplest way that I could think of holding the wheels on. I scratched my head about that one a bit. Like <laughs> the shelves. So this um, it's quite tight at the moment. It's not that tight, but when you painted it all, I mean, you might want to paint it in bits and pieces. You don't have to have it all together. Mm. So you could paint the wheel, couldn't you? It, it, it'll want it'll want a a coat of your varnish. You've got sanding, and yeah. that'll all come off. Mm. And then a coat of the varnish. Um, and then, of course, it'll bring up the, the fluff, won't it? Mm. And then just give it a quick sand with some fine sandpaper, um, a grade... Well, I've got some, I'll show you. And then, and then when it's all done, and this, this has been um, varnished, what I would do is just spray inside there with some um, Mr. Sheen. All right. Or some sort of mm. silicon polish. Mm -hmm. And then that'll make that really nice and um, slippery. Because, I mean, yeah. it runs okay. But as you can fit here, it's a bit tight. Mm. I suppose that'll wear, you know. But it'll just make it so it doesn't squeak. It's, it might, you know, you don't want to be putting around squeaking. There you've got the dog squeaking, and then this squeaking as well. And then this dog squeaking even more. So, those nuts, those, those um, coach bolts through there, they can stay there. That's, that's no problem. You could ju adjust them if you needed to ever, but that's it. So then, of course, usually those bolts would be through there, wouldn't they? Yeah. Two bolts, just the two bolts, and then that pulls out like that, okay? Oh, right. So then that's your other piece. Have you got that video? <laughs> and then you've got your box, really. Yeah. And then that's it. And then that's the weight that you've got to consider. It's right. not too bad, is it? No, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay. Right. So I think that's um, that's it. So it's just reverse order, really. Yeah. You've got a box of bits. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What it, have we got here? So let's just check and see if that video is still running. Let's hope so, because that's it. Turns itself off. Yes, it's recording nicely. Is it all good? Over and out. <laughs>